What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 18 of our Python with NLTK for natural language processing tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about importing a new data set. So why are we going to import a new data set? One, you should get comfortable with how to do it. Two, the other data set wasn't working with where we want to move in the future. So it didn't really have anything to do with that stochastic gradient descent doing the 100% positive. Still don't really know why it was doing that but we're going to move on. Um, we want to use this, I, you know, I was trying to think of a good project for us to use this on and the best thing I can think of is to go to like Twitter and do live Twitter sentiment analysis. We can graph the sentiment live. So I wanted to go to Twitter, I used that previous data set on Twitter, it literally wanted to call everything negative. It was really brutal. Uh, so, and I think the reason why that was is because the text is so short compared to the text that we trained against that because we have a binary classifier it was defaulting to negative. So we don't want that, we want something that has a little more uh, certainty. So we need to train it on some data set that has smaller blurbs of text yet is also labeled. I just so happen to have one of those data sets. So I went ahead and uploaded that data set to pythonprogramming.net so that everyone else can use it. I'll show you guys how we're going to import that data set and kind of this way you can see too that um, here's another example basically of remember before I was telling you you can use this on any binary labeled data set so any data set that's one thing or the other you can use this algorithm and so this is here a, an example of us taking this algorithm applying it to a completely different body of text training it and then we're gonna move forward with it so anyway uh, that is over here let me bring it over we've I've stored these files on under static downloads and then short reviews so head there and you'll see that you'll have a negative dot text and a positive dot text. We'll just open up both, but you're going to want to save them. So open them up and go save as. Uh, so then we'll view the source here and you can see that, you know, by line is the, is the review. So these are separated by new line and you can see that these reviews are actually much shorter. This one's only four words, uh, but almost all of these are no longer than the width of my page, right? Or, or at least not much longer, right? This one's a period longer, but you get the point, these are much shorter. Also, our last data set had a high degree of volatility regarding the algorithm's accuracy. That's kind of indicative of you've probably got too little data or you've got a bug in your algorithm. I didn't think we had a bug in the algorithm, although the stochastic gradient descent, something was wrong there. But uh, I think that the, the real problem was indeed a lack of data. So we only had a thousand of each side. That sounds like a big number, but really not. So this one's a lot bigger. We've got 5,300 reviews uh, for each, a little over. Uh, so that's the negatives, and then here's some positive ones. Again, view source split by new line. Uh, there you have it. So save this, and save it to the way that I'm going to write it anyways is basically I've got my script. It's in its own directory. Then we've got another directory that's in the same directory as the script, another directory, and I'm just calling it short underscore reviews. And then that's where I'm storing a positive dot text and negative dot text, which is all of these reviews. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to come down here and basically from this frequency distribution right above that, all everything above that gets deleted except for obviously this vote classifier class. So just delete. Boom. Now, what we want to do is we need to define, obviously we need, you know, basically we need to solve all the things that we just deleted, okay? So we need to do all words and we need documents. So let's go ahead and delete and get started there. So first of all, we need to access the file. So we're going to call this short positive for short positive reviews equals open. And again, I stored mine in short underscore reviews slash positive dot text. We want to open this with the intention to read, and then we're going to go ahead and read it. Then we're going to do the exact same thing for the negative. So I'm just going to copy, paste, and we're going to call this short neg, and then it's negative.text.read, and that's fine. So now we're going to have documents, and that's going to be an empty list, and then we're going to say for R, for review, in short underscore pose, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to also, we need to split this by new lines. We'll do that here. So for the review in short pose dot split by new lines, that's splitting them up by review. What do we want to do? Well, we need to do documents dot append. And then if you remember, this documents is a tuple. And the tuple is uh, consisting of the review and then whether or not it's positive or negative. So these, if they're coming from short pose, that means they're positive. So that's that. Now let's copy this, paste, 
And then instead of short pose, it's short neg. And then we want to append the review and then neg at the end of it. Next up, what we need to do is come on down here. And now we're going to do something pretty similar for all words as we need to populate all words. So we're going to say all underscore words equals an empty list. And then we're going to do short underscore pose underscore words. And that's just going to equal word underscore tokenize underscore, whoops, not underscore parentheses, short pose. And then we're going to do the same thing to neg. So this neg word tokenize, tokenize neg. And the ways, obviously, we're just we're just converting these to words. So if you remember, the NLTK had like a dot words method. We don't we don't have that functionality. So we're going to just use the other functionality, which is this word tokenize. So boom, done. Now what we're going to do is uh, coming down here, we're going to say four W in short underscore pose underscore words. What do we want to do? We're going to do all underscore words dot append. And we're going to append dot or w dot lower, and then we'll do the exact same thing here, uh, right under it. So then for w in short neg words, what do we want to do? All words dot append, and then w dot lower. Okay, and then we're done all the way up to all words for the frequency distribution. Now I wanted to have up to 5,000 features. First of all, a couple things. One is this feature set is uh, should be faster to load than the other one. Also, we're going to end up pickling everything, so you might as well have some extra, you know, large sum of data. Five thousand seems to do pretty good, so I'm going to keep it at five. You can do what you want with it, but I think five is a good number. So there's that. Also, keep in mind that if you wanted to, uh, you could also, since we're using NLTK word tokenize, uh, we could do some part of speech requirements so kind of keep that in the back of your head uh, that might make a difference uh, so keep that in mind now what we want to do is we're going to come down here feature sets that's good let's go ahead this is okay we're going to also just call real quickly a random dot shuffle and we're going to shuffle up feature sets so again our data is not perfectly you know a bunch of negatives and a bunch of positives so we'll shuffle it up there uh, then here the training set Let's say the training set now is going to be everything up to 10,000. And then the testing set will be everything beyond 10,000. So 10, because this data set has like 10,664, I think, uh, feature sets. So once that is done, you should be able to uh, run everything else. So let me save that and make sure this kind of at least compiles for us. Oh, okay, word tokenize not found. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Uh, come to the very, very top, and we'll just import that. So from nltk.tokenize, import word underscore tokenize. Save and run that. Let's see if this works this time. Uh, just to save some time, I have already pre run this uh, script. Um, ouch, that's a really bad accuracy there, 47%. We'll have to see if the other ones get that. Uh, that's worse than what I have gotten on average from this, this algorithm. So we've possibly got some sort of error going on in the code. Pose, neg, let me just look through it while this is happening. All words, tokenize, short pose, short neg. <laughs> All words. Frequency distribution, all words, good, 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 good. Uh, let's compare over here. Any others coming up? No, not yet. Thematic, secondary, narrates, rounded. Supremacy, do, do, do. So really it would only be, oh, okay, here's, here's why. <laughs> So we, we left this this old training and testing set. That was our, our mistake. That's probably that's almost certainly why we got that really horrible first rating. Let me just close this one more time. Let's just close that, reopen it. Hopefully this time we won't get such a horrible <laughs> horrible uh, answer there as the for the uh, basic one. I've been getting upper 60s on this one. Uh, usually sometimes even into the 70s. What what is this? Why would you do this to me? 
Uh, it's still giving us a 47% accuracy. That is no good. Random.shuffle feature says, let's see. Positive not text. Documents. Let's see. 4P R pose. Documents dot append. All words. Short pose to words. Short pose short neg. 4W in short pose words. All words dot append. Lower words. That's fine. Feature. Ah, okay. I know where we've where we've uh, <laughs> where we've done messed up. Okay, so in find features, what we have to do here is remember we're <laughs> but, okay. Um, so initially we had words was equal to the set of whatever document we pass through. Well, the document we pass through now is a big like string. It's not like words. So uh, doing this is, is no good. So we're gonna actually have to say, let's see, words will equal. Let's see, words equals document, and we need to actually actually it's going to be word tokenize document. So words equals word tokenize document. Features will be the same. Features blah blah. blah. That should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> so a few initial bugs there. Uh, so hopefully this one won't be uh, as bad. Let's just automatically do this. And let's see. Just kind of looking through everything again just to make sure. Um, so anyways, well, hopefully this will this will work before we run out another like 20 minutes trying to debug why it's not giving me the upper 60s. Um, it should work uh, eventually, and you you can actually specify. So again, since we're using NLTK, we could specify. We could even grab a uh, part of speech tags. It's still giving us horrible horrible numbers here. Um, I'll just have to debug this, I suppose, on my own. Uh, let's see. No, let's see. NLTK18. This is going here. We're loading. Oh. Well, that's probably our problem, actually. <laughs> so aside from like all these other problems, we're loading this old classifier uh, that we, you know, from long ago. So yeah, it only has 50% accuracy because it's a completely different data set. But let's see. Let's see what uh, the accuracy comes out to be on the next, the next one because obviously this this one, um, let's see, we would do this, and then get rid of these, like this, so no more pickle loading, and then bring this one up. Show most informative feature. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so hopefully this next one will pop up in the next like minute here. So so my accuracy currently is at fifty percent, uh, which is obviously quite pathetic. Um, okay, so the next one is the more uh, realistic number that I've been getting. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this one more time. Hopefully the Naive Bay's <laughs> accuracy percent will be above 50%. Uh, because the, here's the this is the current one anyway. We're not going to run through every single one of them. I just want to make sure that the code that I've shown you guys is the right code. So everybody can follow along if they uh, need to. Uh, so anyway, this is the other one, <laughs> okay, uh, that I ran based on the code that we're attempting to write in this tutorial, uh, and this is basically every all the scores everyone got. So the original is 69, all the way down to the voted classifier average, which was 69.4. Here are some of the more uh, common words. Um, so yeah, so that's that. And as soon as we see that this one has a relatively positive, the next thing that we're going to be talking about is converting this into a module that we can use uh, like we had kind of before where you just call the classifier we'll convert it to a module and then we're going to uh, call upon that module with uh, Twitter and pass tweets from Twitter through the module get the classification the classification happens really fast it's the 
loading of the data, the training of the data that takes you know the, this time. So if you don't pickle the data, you'll have to initially wait through this like you know one or two minute loading time, and then everything will be like you know instant. Uh, but you can pickle it. Uh, I've already shown you guys how to pickle, so I'm not really gonna do a tutorial on how to pickle everything. I'm going to kind of just expect that you pickle. Uh, so when you're done training these, for example, all of these classifiers could be pickled. The other things that you could pickle to speed up time uh, would be you would pickle documents, you'd pickle all words, you would pickle um, word features. So actually you would pickle all words at this point probably. Uh, but you could pickle at any different point. This this function here is a really fast one. Okay, so this one uh, came through with 64. So anything above like 60%, I'm I'm content with. We normally average at around upper 60s, but at least now I feel like the code is accurate. Anyway, I'll finish talking about what what you should pickle, and then we'll cut this video uh, and move on to the next one. But anyway, pickle that. You should pickle. You could pickle feature sets. Um, you could pickle. I would leave these, and then you should pickle every single classifier. Pickle them all. The only one you won't have success pickling, or at least I didn't have success pickling, you shouldn't have success pickling this. Uh, so you'll just have to leave it, but this, this pickles really fast because the, the reason why this took a while is just because all of these had to be loaded in. Otherwise, this is actually a very fast classifier because all it does is add up votes from the other classifiers, and the classification is like milliseconds. So. Um, so this one just you won't be able to pickle it but anyways pickle you just pickle everything <laughs> okay it's making me hungry talking about all these pickles <laughs> so anyways that's that uh, next video we'll be talking about converting this to a module again you should pickle everything if you don't pickle it that's fine it'll just take a little bit longer to load but I'm not going to be showing you how to pickle so because I already have anyway uh, that's it Hopefully, uh, sorry about the debugging issues, but I think it'll be best if I leave it in the videos. Most people seem to be happy that I leave the debugging in there. Plus, if I don't leave it in there, probably some people are going to miss it and not know what we changed. And I think at least in this scenario, it's kind of important to go through the things that you should have to change just so if you bring in your own data, you can do it. And ideally, we'd have a much cleaner method for changing you know, data sets. Uh, and maybe that can come in time, but for now, this, this does the job. So. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.